Hello. Yes, so you are in the right place. Video go go kitchen. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to my world of cooking. Hey, people, how are you guys doing? Life is good. Though. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all those that are subscribed to my channel. I want to thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm so sorry I might not be constant with my videos, but I'm a working mama. Yes, I'm very busy. No wahala. Thank you so much. And if it's the first time you're coming to my channel, thank you for stopping by here in my channel. I share the videos I prepare in my home, my recipes. If you like what I'm doing, please do me a favor by clicking on the subscribe button. Click on the bell. That way, whenever I upload my videos, you will see them. Yes? Thank you so much. And today, I have an Uobo recipe for you guys, like always. Another bomb. Ukodo. Yes, so. Me wono ke ukodo ni nena. Wado. Uobo wado. Na welcome, na welcome. Over to my kitchen. Here. Yeah? For my recipes, I have the almighty yam that I'll be using. I have my plantains, your white plantain you need. I have the king of fishes, which is the catfish. I have the goat meat. I have spice previously. I'm going to put it to boil now and cut them to pieces as I will need for my kudu. Here I have my crayfish. I have my dry pepper. I have my nutmeg. I have my pepper negro, which is the, the one we prepare with the pepper soup, spice. I have all of them here. I'm going to blend them together. This one, I'm going to break it first. After breaking it, we will now use it to blend them together. This one should be about a tablespoonful of uh, dry pepper. Put pepper as you can support. I have my seasoning, my salt. If you don't have... Um, Lemongrass, you can use your lime leaves. Here I have my lime leaves. And oh, I'm going to be putting my scent leaves. I will show you guys later when I want to put it. Here I have my, I have my ekeun. Here my goat meat. I have my, I have my salt already. I have put, I put my black pepper. Now I'm going to be putting my seasoning, in my goat meat. Yes, and I'm going to boil. Okay. So this one I'm going to prepare now for the ukodo. So I'm going to be cutting my plantains. There might be somebody there that does not really know how to cut the black plantain. So let me show you how I cut my own. After removing the two sides of the plantain, we now split it here like so. Look for another side to split. Yes. Okay. And then you try to lift it up. Like so. See? Okay. And then you use your hand, you take it off. Like so. I've done this one. Now let me show you how you cut it for the ukodo. First of all, split it into two like so, and then cut them like this. Not too small, yes? Put them here in your pot. Now I'm going to be cutting my yam. If you intend to use all your yam, then take out the two sides of your yam, and then I'm going to cut my yam like this. And cut your yam like this. Please don't waste it all. You have to cut it as close to the skin as possible. If not, you waste your yam. 
So let me just show you this one. How I'm going to cut it now for my okodo. I cut it half like this, half into half like so. I don't want it to be too small because sometimes it might all break inside. So I cut it half like this, according to the size of your yam, and then I cut it like so. Hmm? Okay. This is how I'm going to do my own. If you want it smaller, you can cut it smaller. But this is how I'm going to do my own. So this is my yam. I have washed it. I have cut my plantain. My yam and my plantain with cold water. Yes. You will put it in cold water. And now you put salt. Put it with salt. Yes. I'm not going to put too much salt because I'm going to season it later as I'm cooking. Like a full teaspoon of salt will do. And then we'll cover it for it to be like half done. When it's half done, I will show you. And then I'm going to put my catfish later on with my pepper that I'm going to blend. Meanwhile, while I'm waiting for my yam, this is my goat meat. Yes, that I showed you previously. I'm boiling my goat meat, it's not ready. When it's ready, of course I'm not going to spray it in big chunks like this. It's too big. So I'm going to get my goat meat, I'm going to cut it smaller to mix with my yam and plantain hey, for my I'm, over. I'm I'm here to teach people that want to learn Ngobo Ukodo, we are here. So this is my yam, it is uh, like half done here now. I'm going to add your meat, like so. Yes, I cut them into pieces before, but if you still want to cut them smaller than this, you are free to. This is how I want my own. This is my catfish. I don't cut it too small. So this is what I do, like so. I distribute my catfish in big chunks all over. This is the broth of the goat, some of the broth of the goat. I still have some goat left, but for this recipe, this is what I need. This is the uh, pepper that I blended with crayfish. For the pepper, when you are blending it, you are going to use only one of this one, pepper nigo. I just showed you guys more. But I'm going to use one because this thing is bitter. Except you want it bitter, I don't know. Me, I used one of this. With your crayfish, your pepper, and your hot meg. The ones that look like granite, yes? Okay. Just to note. So you don't say I did not explain. You don't want to cook in and it's not coming out well. So this is what I do. When I've done that, I'm going to put my broth all over. Like so, the broth of the goat. Seasoning, don't over season it. Seasoning, like so. Since I don't have my, my lemongrass, I use my lime leaves. The same thing, get it in your local supermarket. So these are my scent leaves. I'm going to put some inside. Scent leaves. Sprinkle all over, like so. Let it go slowly, not too much, not too high. Yes. I'm going to rinse off a little bit of my pepper that I previously blended, like so. Okay. Now, I'm gonna shake it off properly, like so. Hmm. Oh, see. You need to be here. It's a bomb. This ukodo is a bomb you need to be here the order is serious it is delicious i'm going to be putting our native potash not all of them okay okay this one it exalts the taste of the ukodo it helps it it helps the ingredients to blend together yes so i'm going to cover it up now and wait for my okodo in 15 minutes time i'll be done with it okay so this is our okodo it is ready yes it is ready 
it is ready, it is ready, it is ready. Hmm. I don't need to put any seasoning again. Hey! This is not bomb, oh. Please give it a try out. Hey! Thank you for coming to my kitchen. Thank you for viewing my channel. Please give this a try. You will like it. Give it a try. Prepare this recipe for your visitors. Hey! Leave a comment. Just try me with this recipe. Leave a comment. Whether you don't be robo, whether you be robo, whether you both be robo, give this recipe a try. If you don't understand anything that I've explained, in this Ukodo, in this Ukodo management, this one that I explained just now, just write it, ask me your questions. If anything, I'm there, I will, I will always answer your questions. Okay, I have come to the, to the, to the end of today's video. This is my, uh, my recipe for today, prepared Ukodo. The traditional Ukodo, the original Ukodo. This, it is this one. I prepared it with my catfish, and my goat meat. I didn't put any other thing because this is how our mothers prepare it. Nowadays, some people can make a variety by putting shaki, bomo, and others. You can put anything you like, but this is the one I grew up to meet. Well, thank you for subscribing to my channel. And if you've not done so, if it's today you are stopping by in my channel, I thank you so much. You welcome to my channel. Please do me a favor before you go away from my channel. Just click the subscribe button. Thank you. From Vigoko channel, it is me saying remain blessed. Thank you. Bye.